Welcome back to Daily Flash. I'm Raisa Pascal. On the road to self-improvement, most people want to be happier. We want to be better decision makers. And we want to be more effective leaders. Well, turns out the most important muscle we need to develop that will positively affect everything is self-awareness. Here with more on this topic is life coach and author, Dr. Drayvon James. Doctor, thank you for joining us today. Oh, thank you for having me. I'm excited to discuss this topic. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, it's an important subject. You say self-awareness is the key. What, what is your definition of self-awareness? Let's start there. What are the benefits of that? Yeah, so the definition of self-awareness that I use, I'm going to give you it in two forms because it's really important. It's understanding how our thoughts, our actions, our, and our emotions line up with our standards, right? And then really easily said another way, it's seeing the gap between where we want our thoughts, actions, and emotions to be and where they actually are. Right? That's being really aware. This is what I want. This is where I am. And understanding that there is a gap and uh, gives us clarity. The benefit of that is Socrates said it best. Um, to know thyself is the beginning of wisdom. Mm. Now that should encourage everybody because I don't care whether you're trying to improve your health your wealth or your relationships, it's gonna take wisdom to do that. And the better we know ourselves, the more prepared we are to move towards that sustainable positive change in our life. Great, great quote by Socrates. I love that definition. This is where mm -hmm. I'm at. This is where I wanna be. Now you have seven tips and strategies to help us improve our self-awareness. Your first one is to self-reflect and generate clarity. Please explain this one for us. Oh my goodness. Sometimes we don't want to self-reflect. We don't want to think backwards because we're told to stay in the present moment. And I believe that we should, but we do think backwards. And sometimes when we think on the past, we are doing so with shame, guilt, and condemnation, mm -hmm. but that's not what we want to do. We want to look at our past to self-reflect on how did we handle that? Not because we want to criticize ourselves, but we want to understand, oh, this is what I was feeling. Okay, so when I'm feeling this way, when I'm feeling tired, when I haven't had enough rest or enough to eat or I feel attacked, I tend to act this way. That gives us some a clarity on where we are, some self-awareness so that we can practice and get better. We know those situations are going to rear their ugly heads again. We want to have a better way to handle them. Absolutely. I think that leads in really nicely to number two, to accept what is. That just means whatever life throws at me, I just got to deal with it. Well, to accept what is, and we're talking about self-awareness, right? To, to accept what is in our in our character, where we've been. You know, this is, and it goes back to that statement I said previously about looking at our past with shame, guilt, and condemnation. No, not with that. We are working in, in action, in motion, right? So we accept what is. This is what happened. This is what I did. This is the gap between what happened with my thoughts, my emotions, and my actions, and where I want them to be. When we accept what is, then we can change it. I tell people all the time, if you want a yellow wall, you've got to first accept that you have a blue wall. Okay, mm, the wall is yeah. not yellow. Yeah. This is what I need to do to make it yellow. Nice analogy. You also say we need to believe in our dreams and visualize. How do I get that belief in myself and internalize that? Yeah, we're always asking somebody else to believe in us, to see the goodness. We first believe in our dreams. So, you know, they say you got you to gotta walk that walk before you actually get on the road, right? Be start becoming that person. What are the characteristics that that person would have that you want to be or the characteristics of the person who has what you want to have? Start believing that, visualizing that, acting in that manner as much as possible now because it draws that into your presence. I love that. Now, a lot of people say curiosity killed the cat, but you say we need to stay curious. Explain number four. Right. As I love that statement, because we used to say it a lot when I was a kid in Chicago, curiosity killed the cat, the satisfaction <laughs> brought it back. <laughs> so remember nice. the end of it, right? <laughs> right. So stay curious, right? Replace worry with curiosity. Replace shame with curiosity. Just get curious about everything, because it is true, the end of that statement, satisfaction brought it back. Because when you get curious about things, you become more creative. When you become more creative, you become more solution oriented. So stay curious. That curiosity opens up that, that awareness of who you are and where you want to be. I love and that. how to get there too. <laughs> Let's put number five and six together. Keep an op a journal and an open mind and also practicing meditation. Tell me about those. 
Oh my gosh. So journaling, I know people are, really don't are not into writing so much because we got so much technology, but there is something that happens when you take something from the unseen world, your mind, and put it onto paper that already makes you a creator, right? So that means it's letting you know that you can create the self that you want to be. The journal also is your living history. It's you saying, oh my gosh, I felt this way. I, I handled it this way. You can weigh the pros and cons of that. So it's that track record there for you. Journaling is very important. It is your own personal history. You get to write it. And then meditation is just another word for being mindful, sitting in the silence for just a few moments or walking in the silence, however you want to do it, and just letting your mind rest. Love that. Letting your mind rest so you can come back clear and focused. Yes, nice. And your last tip is my favorite, to travel and connect with nature. We don't have too much time to go into it, but we want to make sure we get our viewers to learn more about you so that they can learn all about these improving self-awareness tips. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us. Those of you at home, if you want more information, you can visit Dr. Drayvon James at drdravonjames.com. Thank you. I am ready to go home and improve my self-awareness. Thank you, doctor. Appreciate you it. can do it. <laughs>